This is Lover of Ladies, and I am Bob the Builder, because now I'm instructed to fix her turbine. Because if not, he's not going to help me. What a pain in the ass. I'm trying to solve this mystery, doing all these main missions, and yet this man has the audacity to assign me a side quest over a course that he doesn't want to do. It's whatever though, because once I fix this turbine, I'm definitely gonna... Whoa. Whoa, how high is this thing? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I, no wonder he didn't want to do this. Oh, uh, did you see the lightning on that? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, activate electromechanical. Sorry. Electromechanical turbine. Failed. What the hell? So, Tower 1 and Tower 2 are offline. Okay. So I have to do some sort of maintenance, I suppose. Oh, man. If I get electrocuted in any way, shape, or form, I'm just... I'm gonna hunt him for the rest of his life. That's... that's a given. Okay, this is good. I'll take that. I'll take that. So, the repair itself is pretty easy. Oh no. Really? Oh! Oh, he's flying, flying! Damn! Come on! There you go! Oh my gosh! I got you! Don't worry! You know, I thought this was gonna be easy, but no... Oh! Sorry. Let me get my... My med kit going here. Damn, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. And for what? Who the hell is shooting? Oh, Nokia. I got you, I got you. Take that. Get it, Nokia! There you go. There you go! And what? And what? I knew this was not gonna be easy to do. Okay. Aw, uh, Pervardi is so adorable. Look at her. Okay, so... Dealing with that type of mess, I can only imagine what the other side is waiting for us to... Throw at us. Oh, of course, of course. Get to it, yeah. <laughs> Whoo, honey, this is mad work. Mad work indeed. And for what? Uh oh, uh oh, who's attacking my teammates? Ho. And what? And what? Come on, Nokia. There you go. There you go. Look at that. We make a very good team. Yeah. 
I like how this little piece of shit robot is trying to hide. Come here. Come, come here. There you go. This man has some nerve to go and tell my crew and I to go fix the turbine. The turbine, sorry. Without letting us know, there's a shit ton of man murdering robots. Some nerve. Some nerve. Okay, so since both of them are fixed, we should have no issues with pulling in the main the main terminal. There you go. There you go. You sure we can't hang around for a bit? I want to get a look at its center. No, honey, we have stuff to do. Yeah. Okay, we have stuff to do. Oh, uh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to click on any of you guys. I was trying to put my weapon away. Let's head back. So high up in the sky, I would be shitting bricks right now because, you know, I'm not really a fan of heights. Yes, I would be the one to go on roller coasters, and yes, I would be the one to sit either in the middle or near the front because I like to torture myself like that. But other than that, I'm not a big fan of heights. Never liked heights one bit. Never. Seriously. It just scares the shit out of me. The facility's back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. Your salvation? Are you kidding me? I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. Hmm, you really are one. So, Jasper, i like to ask you to concentrate. Right, yes, You imbecile. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. Wow. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Thank you, Jasper, you fucking asshole. I appreciate you trying to be compassionate. That's cute. So, I need help with security in the chem lab. You know that place better than anyone. Die, perhaps? Automechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I don't like the idea of going back to that place. To that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. Wow, my persuasion wasn't high enough so I can't even say. Well, you know what, Jasper? Chupe mi culo. If you'll excuse me, my experiments cry out for my attention. You know what? I should go. Anyways, let's head on out because... Wait, what's... What's that? Oh, it's downstairs, okay. Um, let me see here somewhere okay so really downstairs okay cool jasper try to help us keyword try and fat ass quotation marks he was pretty much decently useful all right so let's head on out oh wait i forgot girl come with me I'm still here yeah i know still amongst the living for now Hopefully for a lot longer than now, too. Callie, I got you, girl. You need a lift out of here? Do I ever? Mm-hmm. Drop me off on the groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Okay, cool. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. 
I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Thanks, I guess. All right, let's head on out. First up, I'm going to Groundbreaker first so I can drop off Receptionist Kelly. So, here you go. We should be here in... We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Nice! Awesome! I'm gonna double check to see if Receptionist Kelly is... good. I assume she is, right? I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Break time's over. I feel bad saying that because that sounds kind of like an asshole thing to say. Kind of like how it's an asshole thing for, you know, slamming the door pretty fucking hard. If you didn't hear- if you managed to hear that earlier, my apologies. I have asshole dick-ass roommates, but it's okay. Sometimes when life gives you lemons, you just gotta make hard lemonade. Am I right? Am I right? Hey. All right, so according to my journal here, hmm, I say let's go to the chem lab, so. Yep, back to Gorion. You know, I'm not pretty peachy on going back to this place. I mean, every single nuke and cranny i go through it just gets more and more suspicious but i i'm the type that i need to see it to the end so curiosity kill the cat is that an apex mark 5 queso atmospheric dome what I've never seen one in person magnificent bro it's are you talking about my weapons oh you know what if i had a weapon like this in real life i already have a whole list of people that would love to use it on but you know sadly I can't have a weapon like that and number two last time I checked it was a little bit illegal to you know kill someone so I guess I have to behave for now Customer, were you aware that these ancient skeletal remains have not been dusted in some time Consider no. Them to Sam's cleaning roster. Oh, Sam, honey, you do not want to touch that, honestly. And this map is really starting to annoy me. And I say you're wrong. What the hell? Did I inadvertently walk into a possible side mission? Mama. Okay. Talk to my first mate if you have questions. Okay, Captain, whatever. I'm telling you, this isn't the rock. We need to turn back. This is the spot. Now keep your eyes peeled. The dead drop is at the foot of the alpaca, he said. And this is the alpaca. Llama. What was that? He said it's llama. Llama we're after, sir. Not an alpaca. And this is neither. Llama, alpaca, same thing. Not really. Llama. They aren't the same at all, sir. Believe it or not. Enough. We've got company. Out with it then? Who are you? First of all, you just told me to talk to your other mates. Now you want to talk to me? Anyways. Denise, captain of the Unreliable. You're a captain? Yeah. Oh, thank the law. We're saved. Excuse me, first mate. We aren't in danger. And last I checked, I'm still your captain. We're on the hunt for a package. It's supposed to be at the foot of this handsome-looking alpaca-shaped rock. Llama? So, is that, like, the only word you know? I mean, no offense, but... So... I'm, I've heard enough. It sounds like you need help finding this package. That won't be necessary. I have everything under control. Mm. Could have fooled me. Damn. First mate, this is a llama. And that's an order. Now find me that package. It's around here somewhere. Hey, hear me out. You and I both know this isn't a llama. So your captain needs to get his eyes checked. Not to mention his ego, his judgment. 
and his spine. If you backtrack and take the right hand fork, I could have sworn I saw the rock there already. Captain wouldn't let us stop because the beak wasn't sharp enough to be a llama. Ah, he really doesn't know what a llama looks like, does he? Bingo. He won't even let us turn around because he's dug his heels into this fossil story. His pride is all tangled up in it. We're not getting off Gorgon without that package. If you can find the llama and the goods, you can have my cut of the tape. I don't care. I just want out of here. Bendito. Why are you willing to give up your payment for the job? I lost a lot of friends in that crash. All I got left are my idiot captain and a guy who can't stop saying llama. This isn't about money anymore. It's about survival and cutting my losses. Wow. That's crazy. All right, so find the llama, find the package, deal. Don't let me down. That llama is my ticket out of here. Bendito. But for now, we got something else to do. So after I'm done with going to this place, then I'll find the llama. Uh, yeah, I'm a bum rush it. Yeah, maybe? Nah, I guess not. My other weapon ran out of ammo, so I'm using this nice little secondary one here. And yes, I do have Vicar and Sam with me this time. I do like to change up my companions. That way, you guys are not bored with seeing the same ones over and over again. Oh, shit. And there's one more. Uh, if only you can neutralize my roommates, that would be so awesome. But anyways, let's get back to the quest. Yay, we're here! Finally, we are here. Let's just use this voice activation. Please speak the passphrase. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Passphrase accepted. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. What the hell type of passphrase is that? That shit was like a fucking nursery rhyme. And to think that he had to memorize all that stuff? Damn, this company is so excruciating. Wow, we are finally in. Area assessment. This room is moderately trashed. Time to clean is estimated at 23 and a half minutes. Well, Sam, you bro, hold on a minute. We we are not here to clean. We're here to find What? Talking shit. Yeah, ah, that is so funny. The How pleasant. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Nemesis from the OCI. Yep, talking mad shit, honestly. He thinks, I mean, or she, either way, they think they can just scare us off with all these empty ass threats. That's what they are, empty. Empty ass threats. Wow, this place is deserted. Dead and deserted. Uh oh. I'll take your confession now. Damn. Okay. Go, Sam, go. Damn. Yo, Sam bodied that mechanical. Out of curiosity. Who is your favorite companion? Let me know in the comments below. My favorite companion, Pervarti. Second, 
Sam. Can I shoot this? Or nah? Alright, I guess I'll just do this. Take all that. Sam, honey, will you be okay? I hope Sam's okay. Come on, hon, let's go. Don't be afraid. Jump or something, I don't know. Poor Sam. He can't even get through. I'm sad. So... I see some... Robots waiting for us. Wow. Lots of experimentation and all that shit. Too bad I don't really care enough to read. How the hell did you get past the... You know what, Sam? I'm not going to question him because your abilities are that remarkable. Never anger a man of the cloth. Damn. Get him, Sam! Well done. We are victorious. Of course, because we're a badass team, that's why. Okay, so this door. Ooh. Look at Sam squirting on that machine, bro. I, I can't I can't even get enough of that. That is so funny. Okay, so we're in the caves. Lots of dead robots, dead uh primates. Damn! Damn, Sam! Look at you! Oh, we're not the only one. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. Vic, I know you're very proud of how far you came, but I'm not sure you should be saying that out loud, honestly. Primals too. Yep. They wanted to make sure they made all the bad decisions, didn't they? Yeah. It's it's obvious. Oh, oh. Uh oh, big boy, big boy coming. Oh, oh, oh man, oh man. Come on, big boy. Oh. This is some tough ass work right here. Damn. Come on. Yo, this monkey. Whew, I thought it was gonna be a goner. There you go. Whew. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be a goner. I am so glad I have my teammates with me, honestly. It is getting crazy. That's the last of them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we are getting close, hopefully. Yes, I like to salvage. Don't mind me. Don't judge me. Are we ah uh, more robots for real? Here's a little trick I learned in prison. Come on. Oh, we got more. This robot's pretty tough. Or maybe my weapon is that low. I'm not sure. Okay, so... While y'all go handle the robots, I'm gonna try and... Oh, it's right here. Finally. Can I use while in combat? Come on! Oh. Outer Worlds, you're really killing me here, you know that? Go, Sam. Squirt that shit to death, bro. Well done. We're 
still alive. Of course we're still alive, bro. What you mean? Okay, so are we good? Can I use this now? Cause I'm not in combat anymore. Yes, I did. Much more relaxed if you released your attachment to the past. Ha! <laughs> the shade. The shade of it all. Messages. Huh. Wow, this is a lot of reading indeed. Let's override that. Okay. Return. Huh. I dare say it seems like the inmates were running the asylum here. Well, listen. You remember the guy who was running it, right? This would break anyone who had anything even resembling a conscience. This whole project wrought mental destruction on everyone involved, including themselves. All brought to you by Spacer's Choice's best and brightest. So, they were pushed to do the impossible by people who weren't accountable. Sadly, that's just business as usual in Halcyon. Minnie thinks her family has a bad name now. It's nothing compared to how it will be if she compounds on her mother's failures. That's why we're helping her. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.